Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do calendar autodex function. And for explaining the calendar autodex function, I'm using weeks uh, in Power BI. So let's go to the tutorial and see how we can use the calendar autodex function with weeks. So this is the data source uh, that I'm going to use today to explain this tutorial. So it contains salesperson, item, sales value, and sales date. So when it comes to the sales date, kind of not, this sales date contains only the value of uh, 2020. Uh, so that I have added that purpose to explain the uh, calendar autodex function. Right, so this is the fields that I have. So first I just drag and drop the sales uh, date value here. Right, so as you can see, it creates a kind of sequential dates from January 1st to December 31st of year 2020. So, just note this this is the kind of hidden table that will be created. So, when we have something uh, kind of date fields in the Power BI, so in the Power BI calendar auto DAX function also used. To do the same thing so in instead of this hidden table we are trying to create our own table so that we are trying to integrate the weeks as well so that is the tutorial that I'm going to do today so let's see how we can uh, go through it right in a typical date function what it does is so let's say I had a, a small chart bar chart and I had sales value as the values and then I add the date as the axis Right, so as you can see, it contains years, quarter, month, and day. So those are the default ones for the date. And then I can go hierarchically uh, down as well. So it expand as quarters, then it expand as months, then it, it expand as dates as well. But now with the new date, uh, new uh, date, uh, that uh, date table that I'm going to create with the weeks. So I'm going to expand it to the week level as well. So that is what I'm going to do today by using the calendar autodex function integrate with weeks. Right. So now I will create a new table. So which I rename as date table. And here I will use the calendar autodex function. Right. So this function will return a table. So let me run it first. So then as you can see, it creates a range from 2020 January 1st to 2020 December 31st. So in here, what this calendar auto DAX function does is it scans through my model and take all the date columns in here. My date sheet has uh, date model has only one date field scans through this and find out the dates of the uh, year that that dates are falls in and generate the entire year from January to December. So that is what the calendar auto DAX function works. So let's see if I give a parameter like this. So I can give right fixal year end month. That means let's say if your year is falls on Jan June to June, right? So that can happen. So let's say in some companies, their financial year is falls on June to June. So let's say if I add a parameter like this, let's see what will happen. Right. So as you can see, it creates a range of July to 2021, June 30th. So it creates a different date range. Right. So that is what this parameter does. So let's see if I change my Excel data. So what will happen? Right. So now I'm going to add two different dates to this. Let's say I take this as copied here and I add 2019 here. This is my Excel data sheet. Right. Right. So now I'm back in Power BI again. So now I'm going to refresh my data source by using the refresh button. So let's see what will happen here. As you can see now my calendar auto DAX function scans through my model. So then they that that function identifies that there are records falls in 2019 as well. So again, it generates the value from 2019 January 1st to 2019 uh, 
December 31st as well. So scans always when the data sheet is updated, the scan.odx function scans and generate this data set or the date set. So to explain more the calendar.odx function, I'm loading another data sheet which contains sales date of 2021 and 2022 years as well. So let's see if I load this to my model, what will happen to the calendar auto uh, DAX function, which uh, the outputs the data table. Right, so now it has been loaded properly, the new data sheet. So let's see, when it's come to the DAX function, calendar auto, according to the DAX function, it should scan my model and update, uh, that should update the data range, date range. So let's see whether it has been correctly added, the new date range. Yeah, as you can see now, 2021 data, date, date range also added, and 2022 uh, date range also, been updated into my new date table uh, by using the calendar auto dex function. So let's go to uh, the next example of integrating weeks to this uh, date table. Right, so now if I take this date uh, column, which is in my new date table, so if I put it here, so as you can see, it creates a range 2019 to 2022, right? So that's a typical function. Right, and then uh, if I want to, you know, uh, see the the kind of breakdown of it, like if I add it to the axis. So as you can see, it contains year, quarter, month, and date. So these are the typical uh, functions of uh, date uh, column. So now we'll see how we can customize my date table as you want. So you can customize this uh, date table by using adding manual columns as well. So let's say, so if you want to add year, so you can directly write year function and then give the date. Right, and you can give the month as uh, A manual column right and also you can give the week number as well so here as you can see now I'm integrating weeks to this Right, so this is one method of doing it. Otherwise, we can dynamically add the columns to the uh, date table as well. So let's see how we can do that. Right, so you can add it as like, you know, creating a new table, call date table. So then you can use different functions like add columns and then Alter enter so you can select calendar auto so that's the first column that will be creating and then you can add year right so then you can say year date Alter enter then you can say quarter quarter so then you can give the date date means the column so then you can add the month you 
can use formatting as well as you want. So here I want to have four letters as months. And then you can have month number if you want. Right, so then And here you can add the week number as well. Right, so you can create this sort of function as well in order to generate the date table. So then as you want, you can customize the table. You can add any columns that you want to there, right? So if I press enter, right? As you can see now, my uh, new customized date table has been generated. So it contains week number, month number, month, quarter, year. So these all columns are there. Right, so this is how to create, this is how we create a customized date table uh, apart from using the hidden date table uh, in built-in Power BI. Right, so now we need to create a relationship between these two uh, or three tables. So here I have 2020 data, 2022 20, data, 2020 data and my date table. So now I will need to create a connection between the sales date and date. So here I will just drag and drop here. As you can see, one to many relationship has been happened. And then here also I will add, sorry, I will add this one and this one. Right, so here one to many relationship has been happened. So the relationship is done now, right? So now my new customized date table contains all the fields that you want. And then let's say I add a small visual here. Right, so then I can add the sales values, right? So it has a sales value. So then I can have the drill down here, axis wise years. And then I can have a month, month number, and then quarter, and then week number as well. So this is my custom sort of a way of uh, having week number. So then you can go down and see like here quarter wise it adds and then month wise it adds in then week wise it creates the results. So in this tutorial I explain how to use this uh, calendar auto dax function with different examples and also to use the week number function because default it will not come this week uh, number function in the Power BI. So how to integrate this week number functions as well in order to uh, use uh, in your models. Thank you very much for watching this and uh, please keep in touch and subscribe my channel for more Power BI videos. Thank you.